Hey Blender Files, welcome back to the node concept and today we have is the wireframe node. So, uh, we don't have much of nodes to be uh, clubbed together now because they don't share much of things in common and uh, yeah, they are really small nodes so yeah, they are getting their individual tutorials so anyways, we'll go through them. Okay, so today we have is the wireframe and what it does is shows you the wireframe of uh, your geometry. So. I uh, will have this cube over here and uh, I'll just uh, move it a bit over there and I'll duplicate it on the side and now we have two different cubes now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the wire from here uh, just to show you so uh, go down to your this thing what's called this object data and uh, go down to display and choose wire and draw all edges so now you can see we have these black lines showing the edges uh, from the object mode and what I'm going to do is go into the edit mode and uh, press ctrl T now uh, now uh, it has added you know the triangle so it has triangulated, uh, triangulated uh, the cube and uh, now I'm going to do the same over here and draw edges but I'm not going to add in the triangles now okay so uh, also I'll just add in a plane that are really big plane over there and let's just add in some subdivisions something like five something like that okay let's get oh I'll just control T over here as well how weird that is okay control T beauty something like that oh that looks good. that looks better and this again okay so I'm gonna go to front view, no, side view, side view, give it, okay, and grab side one, okay, so, uh, let's just like this, add in a new material, and let's just name it where, okay, oh, I named it <laughs> VRA, anyways, so, uh, let's just go input, and select, 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 wireframe over there, alright, so, it's really small node, damn vehicles, Okay, so uh, it's a really small node and has a pixel size option over here and gives in a factor output and a wire uh, and a size input takes in input. So uh, this size it actually determines the size of uh, the wire. Yes, thickness of wire it, it uh, increases or decreases the thickness of the wire. So I'll just show you in a sec. Uh, let's just uh, control shift left click on that and shift set. Ta da! You can see that black and white thing now. Uh, I'll just use this as a factor over here and let's just add in a color mix RGB plug that in the factor and white part will go black something like that okay so looks good and something like that okay so now you can see uh, the wires over here and those black lines are the wires so this wires is as same as the wire which is inside your object so it displays all the wires now uh, there is a little bit of problem over here. Now, if I add the same material to this cube <coughs> and press shift Z, you will see we have these edges as well. So, why are we having these if we don't have any triangles over there? So, a uh, blender, I mean this uh, wireframe node, what it does is it calculates every edge. So, basically in uh, most of the CG softwares, uh, the mesh is treated as a group of triangles, so triangles connected to each other. So this is why a cube is made up of many triangles. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve triangles. <laughs> so a cube is basically made up of twelve triangles, and that you can see over here. And that is why there is this little problem over here. Oh, this that is why there is this small little problem over here. And if you see over here, if I change the material to wire, you can see it works perfectly fine. Ta da! So now you can show the edges. So uh, you can see there are the edges are actually opposite. So if I add the triangles over here, now you will see the edges now go along these because now they actually has access to a defined triangle and thus it will show edges along that triangle and it will not generate its own triangles that you can see over here uh, the edges now the triangles are in the opposite direction and now they are in this direction so that's why the edges are working 
So, alright, so this is what this does, and next is this pixel size thing. Okay, so let's just uh, show you the size. I'll just go to better view to understand. Now, like that. Okay, now, uh, you can see the size it affects how much uh, take ooh, the wire is. So, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, something like that. So, this works pretty nice. Okay. Now, uh, you can see if I turn pixel size on, this, what has, it has done is, it has made the thickness of uh, the line as 0.1 pixel, so you can't actually see it, so if I increase the size to 1, you still can't see that's 1 pixel over there, <laughs> so I'll just make it some like big 5 pixels over there, alright, so now you can see. Uh, 5 pixel thick, uh, the line is evenly 5 pixel thick all around over there till the end and let's just add in some more geometry over there Ta -da. boom <laughs> so you can see uh, the pixel size is now uh, evenly distributed over all the planes so even at that little point the pixel is 5 uh, the line uh, the what is this the wire the wireframe is actually uh, 5 pixels thick over that point over there and the same amount of thickness over here so that's 5 pixels so if I turn this off oh <laughs> so now it uses its own random unit I don't know I have no idea blender unit I guess blender is really weird <laughs> real thick okay now you can see it uses the perspective so it has given a equal thickness uh, and uh, the perspective is now making it look thinner towards uh, the far depth the widget over here and uh, it has made it look thick over here so uh, whichever you choose uh, you know which suits your scene you can use that so if you want to use pixel size you can use it if you don't want to use pixel size you don't use it so basically this thing so uh, this is how you you know you can render your wires of your model so you can show your modeling skills through this and Another you know, better way to do that is to render open. What is this called? Open GL render image. You can use that. So go to the camera and uh, do this thing. So enable this wire thing, and then just go with deselect everything and go here render open GL. So you can see. Ta -da. Really <laughs> weird looking thing. All right. So uh, this is what it is, and this is a better way to actually render your wireframe. And I might show that because it's a really small tutorial on wireframe, and you won't find a uh, you know like a simple tutorial. I mean, totally different tutorial on wireframe rendering. So go to display and uh, turn on turn off grid floor and relationship lines and outline selected. So all of them, turn them off. Okay. Now go to your camera hide your lamp sources because you don't need the lighting over here or another thing you can do is go to shading and select matte cap and you can choose the matte cap from there whichever you know looks good to you then uh, you know you just focus your camera wherever you want your uh, render to go i just make this something like 300 percent so that's like multiplying these numbers by three and i'm gonna go over here and hit open GL render image and wait for it to do, do da rendered now you can see your wires really over there so uh, the problem over here is you cannot actually uh, increase the thickness of your render but you can do one thing which is the ambient occlusion so it gives a bit of A over there you can increase the strength and samples you can play around with that distance and you can always play around with that Okay, I'll just go with 100 samples. Too much. <laughs> you can play around with that, and once satisfied, you can give another render over there and just wait for it. There it is. <laughs> so, you can post it online and show your modeling skills. So, that is basically uh, how you, you know, show your uh, modeling skills and. And then, and then. And, and your wireframes <laughs> so that's it for this tutorial so you know what the wireframe is and uh, yeah you can use that now 
So uh, I hope you uh, learned something from this video and you're gonna try this out and show off your running skills. Yay! So uh, if you have some quer uh, query or comments, you can drop down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe to stay tuned for our next video, which uh, we don't know ourselves as well, which uh, next, uh, which will be the next note. And uh, yeah, you can follow us on Facebook at facebookcom slash blenderfile We have launched our giveaway. Yay! So uh, another thing, thank you everyone for helping us reach a thousand plus likes, and that's why we have uh, released. A free giveaway so we have given you five materials and uh, six material which is a uh, world sky we have shown that in some video uh, back then so uh, we hope to see you in our next video until then happy blending and see ya bye